Have you ever had fear stop you in your tracks in the pursuit of something that you really wanted? Maybe you wanted to take that leap of faith and fear just kind of consumed you. It was like an anchor that was holding you back. My name's Joe Mavu, Master Life by Design, and today I'm here to share with you my first principle of success. See, over the years, I've studied the world's greatest minds and their success. And it's not that successful people are, afra- are not afraid or scared in the pursuit of something. It's just that they don't allow their fear of success to hold them back. And so my number one principle of success, the first thing is, if you're afraid of it, you must run towards it. Look, we're all afraid and we all have fear at times. Some express it, some don't, some do it openly, some don't do it at all, right? But it doesn't mean that we're not afraid. And it's just natural. Fear is natural for us, right? It's our survival mechanism. The first thing you must know is fear is physical, right? We have a parasympathetic nervous system and a sympathetic nervous system. When we're afraid, our body is in the sympathetic nervous system. And it's like, it turns all circuits on. It floods us with this hormone boost so that we're alert, so that our body's aware, floods um, blood to the muscles, right? So because we have the fight, flight, or in some cases, it's the freeze situation, right? So when we're in fear, we go there, but fear is physical, it takes over us, right? And so what we must do is we gotta break out of that. See, I remember when I was going into the Marine Corps, I remember I was 18 years old, I was afraid of what was gonna come. I remember I flew to South Carolina from New Jersey, and I got on the bus to go to Paris Island, South Carolina. And I remember we went through the gates. It was dark out. It was probably like 11.30ish, 12 o'clock at night. And we went through. You couldn't see anything. The windows were tinted. All of us had to uh, put our heads down between our legs, right? And we couldn't look up. We couldn't talk. It was, it was, we weren't allowed to do anything. You just had to be quiet. And I remember everyone was silent. You could hear every creak. You could hear every crackle in the bus. You could hear the wheels turning. And I remember when I was going through the gate, I was like, this is it. That's when like the fear really kicked in. I was like, no mommy, no daddy, no friends, no bed, no comfort in my own home. I was now going to Marine Corps boot camp. There's no turning back. And I remember the bus stopped. And for a split second, my heart started to race. I heard the doors just shatter open and this big tall Marine just came on and he was just yelling and screaming, everyone get off the bus, get off the bus. And you can imagine everyone's freaking out, grabbing their stuff and we're running to these yellow footprints. And I remember as we got all, everyone got on the footprints and they're yelling at us, all the drill instructors, like our hearts are pounding. We're all scared shitless, right? And all of a sudden it's like, there's no turning back at this point. And I remember at that point, I had to make a decision that I was either gonna allow the fear to take over and wanna go home and you know cry to mommy and daddy, or I was gonna have to step up. And I remember I was standing on those yellow footprints, everyone's getting yelled at, there's all this commotion and yelling, and I just took a deep breath, and I was like, let's go, right? And then for me, it was to relax my nervous system so that I can be able to perform in the way I needed to. So the first thing you guys gotta know is that fear is physical. Secondly, fear is an illusion, right? Fear is just all this stuff that's made up in our heads because two people can have the same experience and they can have completely different outcomes. They could show up completely different. One's extremely fearful while the other one is confident and certain. Now, why is that? It's because of what the story we tell ourselves in that moment, right? It's like if you're ever walking in the woods and you hear something break, like a branch break, and you know it's not you, you could be like, oh my God, what was that? Is that a bear? Or it could be like, oh wow, the sounds of nature, you know, the branches dropping in the forest, how beautiful. So it's all about what's going on up here. And fear is an illusion. We all hear that, you know, false evidence appearing real or um, F everything and run. There's all these acronyms for fear. But really fear, it just shows up because our brain is, we're just wired for survival, right? This brain's here. It's like a 2000 year old software that needs to be updated, right? Because let's be honest, you know, 2000 years ago with cavemen and everything like that or longer than 2000 years ago, but you know, 10,000 years ago you know when you were a caveman everything was life or death and so your brain alerts you because if it doesn't you could have been eaten by a saber-toothed tiger except there's no saber-toothed tigers chasing us anymore right our biggest problem is 
uh, is UPS or uh, Amazon at our front door or not, right? Like that's our biggest challenge nowadays. Uh, did someone steal my identity, right? Or someone's have my Facebook password, right? It's all these silly things. It's not a life or death situation for the most part. We do have those, but with that being said, fear is an illusion. Most people get so caught up in that everything is doom and gloom. And that's like, that's that's simply, that's like looking at the glass half empty. empty. Or you can look at the glass half full. See, most people, they're always looking at what's wrong, what's not going well, what's not going to happen versus what's right, what could go well, what could happen that's in their best benefit. And so fear is just this illusion that we need to take control of. We must, we must master and grab a hold of it when it shows up. Lastly, fear is a liar, right? And a lot of times we buy into that lie and we don't take action. And I had a great mentor of mine who always says, if you make a decision from fear, it is always the wrong decision. And so we want to make sure that we can claim fear, we can overcome it. And that's by doing something radical with our body. I love to do deep breathing, but you can't buy into the lie. You have to question your fear. You know, is that really true? It's like when things, when fear shows up, instead of trying to push against it, you'll get pushback, right? And then you and fear kind of get into this battle versus allowing yourself to dance with fear. Be like, oh, really fear? You think, you know, someone's coming in to break into my house. Okay, well, let's see. What's that all about? Or is it really just the wind around my house? What is it? You got a question. Is that really true? Someone really going to break into my home? And, you know, depending on where you live, it might be totally true or it might not be, but you have to question it because once you question it, you could start to get out of that fight or flight response. And that's why deep breathing is so great because when you inhale, your heart rate elevates. And when you exhale, especially for longer periods of time, your heart rate decreases. So I always like to have people, a lot of my athletes that I coach or even, you know, my high performing CEOs, I have them in those state of uh, fear. I have them actually breathe in on a four count and on an eight count exhale. So it's like a. And when you do that, the heart rate starts to drop, right? We Our, our body starts to release all the uh, cortisol, the stress hormones that are pumping through your body and start flooding it out. And so if you're going to look at fear, if you're going to find yourself in a position where fear is showing up in your life, you got to start questioning it because it's a liar. Fear is a liar, right? I've, how many of you have ever heard like, oh man, if you make the jump from you know your job to being an entrepreneur, you could fail, right? Or you might lose everything. Your family won't eat. While there's some validity to that, if you don't make the decision from a powerful state but a fearful state, you're always going to stay in that position. You're always going to sit there and wonder, what if? And here's what I know is one day, we're all going to be on our deathbed. No one gets out of here alive. And you got to ask yourself, and I would highly encourage you when you're laying down to think about this. When you're on your last minute on your deathbed and you start to reflect on everything in your life, are you going to sit back and say, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have took that chance. Because I guarantee you, if you took that chance, you made that leap, even if you failed, you would sit there on your deathbed and be like, I didn't allow fear to overtake me. I went after it. And even though I swung and missed, at least I took a swing. Most people, they never swing because of fear. Therefore, they can never hit it out of the park. And you might be sitting there saying, Joe, well, you got to take calculated risk. And I agree with you. Do your homework, but don't do it from a position of fear. Do it from a position of confidence. Hey, now's not, time, now's not the time to leave my job. I need to have a year's worth of income or expenses, excuse me, in the bank in case over this next year nothing works out. I can be able to go get a job and be able to rebuild that nest egg, but I can live off of it right? That might be something you need to do, but that comes from a position of confidence versus fear. Success is always on the other side of confidence. So most people, they never take time to conquer fear. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And though fear is a liar and it's an illusion, it starts right here. Because like I said before, two people can have the same situation, same experience. One becomes fearful, one becomes confident. Right? Why is that? And it's because of everything up here, if I was you, if you want to overcome fear, every time you get afraid, write it down, question it though. Say, is this thought true? Is it really true? 
what happens if it's wrong? What happens if it's right? And start looking at it from different angles because then what you'll find is all of a sudden that fear is not as powerful. It's not as strong. It's not like that anchor or that weight on your ankle pulling you down but it also it's physical, so you gotta go press into it. If you're gonna be successful, you gotta run towards fear. See, I remember when I was working with a bunch of my mentors many years ago, and I knew it was time to move on from my mentors. Not because they weren't great people, it was for time for me to go out there and spread my wings without them. And so when I went to do that, I was so scared. I had fear holding me down, but I knew that if I didn't go take this next step, if I didn't do something in spite of the fear, I would never get to the next level. I had fear when I started my coaching career, not knowing would anyone ever listen to me? Would anyone ever get results from me? Would I ever help be able to help anybody? I was afraid, but I remember picking up the phone for that first call. I remember when I met my wife, I was afraid to go talk to her. I remember fear came over me when I went, when I was going going to ask her to marry me. I remember there was fear when we decided that we were going to build a home in Idaho and because we came out three days prior and we put money down to build and we didn't even know if we loved everywhere around Idaho. We just knew from our experience we enjoyed it. I was afraid when we had our first son, our second son, but you got to keep moving in spite of fear. And so one of the, my first success of principle is again, when you're afraid of something, run towards it. Maybe it's jumping out of a plane, maybe it's starting that business, maybe it's asking that person out. Whatever it is, you need to go do that because success is on the other side of fear. And sure, you may fall, you may get knocked down, but that's part of the journey. And when you look back on your deathbed, you're going to laugh at those moments. You're going to be like, man, I was so proud of myself for actually taking action in spite of fear. If you look at anyone who's successful, they've taken action in spite of fear. So if there's one message today that you could take away from my first principle of success is you have to go after it. You have to, to attack your fear. You can't allow it to hold you back because you don't know the endless and infinite possibilities that are available to you on the other side when you attack your fear. So you're amongst a group of people who are successful, who are, you know, they've been in that position before and they're on the other side. And so you can ask people that are successful in your areas and maybe it's in relationships, maybe it's in finances, maybe it's in business or in your body and you can ask them, what did you do that you were afraid to do but you knew you had to do it anyway to have the success that you wanted? I'm telling you, when you press in, when you attack, all of a sudden, watch and I guarantee you if you reflect in your life in an area where you were afraid to do something but you did it anyway 90% of the time there was a great outcome or there was eventually a great outcome from your persistence so you gotta attack your fear all right guys well I hope you enjoyed that video remember attack your fear that's how you get to success success is on the other side of fear so if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you're afraid to push that subscribe button you gotta press in go press that subscribe button share this video if you know someone who's constantly in fear and needs a breakthrough and we're gonna be bringing more videos to you again three times a week we're on this channel where we're pushing in personal development relationships business and finances all these great categories and even interviews I'm gonna be looking at doing some interviews with some of my six seven and eight figure entrepreneurs and so how did they have their success what was their fear and how they attacked it so with that guys hope you enjoyed the video my name is Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design see ya